Hey right folks, it's Rich here. I've gone from happy, elated, to sad and irritated like this. And it's the very last time I buy anything from Andertons. So, I'll tell you what the latest debacle is. And it's difficult because they've got a very likeable YouTube channel, haven't they? The stuff that they watch. They do some good deals on stuff. But, service. Overall, the service. Just not good enough for me. The latest one is this. Really excited to get my MR3 Pro Semi Hollow, which I saw on their website. They don't make it anymore. I thought it's a B-stock one. I was thinking, crikey, maybe it's one that sat around and, ooh, you, I'm gonna have it. It's a vintage honey burst. And they sent me this effing ugly, sparkly, fucking awful thing. Now, so I just rung them. The guy says, oh, that's what you ordered. No, it's not. Here's my order confirmation. It tells you what I've ordered. He says, well, we don't even have that guitar. Well, there's an image of it on your website and it was up for sale and I bought it and the confirmation is for that guitar. So he said, well, we need to investigate that. Fine, you do your investigation, come and pick this ugly thing up and cancel the, the finance deal that I, that I got on it because I couldn't afford to pay for it outright. Now, if I go back to the ML3 Pro, my black one and the purple one, that, um, so I bought the purple one, decided I wasn't sure about it. Sarah, bless her, she bought the black one so I could compare the two. Now, fair, fair enough to Andertons for kind of sorting out, sending the one of them back and getting the money refunded, but it took two weeks and we had to chase and chase and chase to get the money back on that. It was a right hassle. Then going back to Christmas time, I ordered an East Coast guitar that I wanted to try and it just never turned up. I'll be here, it'll be here, just a week later, just nothing. And that took me another further week to get my money back on that. And if I go a little bit further back in history, I was one of the second hand guitars I ordered from had rusty strings on it and it was in a right old state. Guitar Guitar, hats off to them, all of their used guitars come with new strings, a bit of a setup and a clean, but not this one. Another second hand one I bought before that from them had been owned by a smoker. Nothing about that, it was in a gig bag, it absolutely reeked when I, when I got it out. Now, I appreciate these, you know, these guitar stores are selling up shed loads of stuff you know, all the time, but that's just not good enough. That's just too many instances for me. Um, when I've bought things from Guitar Guitar, re I bought pretty much every other music you know, shop, really. Giffy Music have been poor for me, and I know that's just my experience. I wouldn't buy from them again. Um, but Andertons, I mean, how many times? That's what, five? About five now? With, you know, it's just, no. So just no, I'm, I'm, I'm just done with Andertons now. You know, they have, I've had other things that have sent to me and I've sent them back and I've had to chase up refunds. Not always, but sometimes, but how can you, you know, the, when the first guy I spoke to almost accused, well, it sounded like he said, well, you ordered this. Well, no, I didn't order that. So yeah, not buying another thing from Andertons from now on, that's the end of it.